Welcome to another episode of Photo Enthusiastic. I'm your host, Jim Fair, photoenthusiastic at gmail.com. Today, a slightly different episode. I'd like to talk about a lovely uh, command line tool. Yes, I know, command line is a little scary. Uh, that can really help you when you're recovering data. It's called Exif Tool by Phil Harvey. It's a free tool you can download. And it has a lot of cool things that it can do. So, for example, we have here uh, a, a folder of recovered data that I recovered from a SD card I formatted by accident. And I recovered the data, and you can see that each of the file names is uh, just a recovered and then a big long sequence number, which is not very informative. So, I'm going to use this command and EXIF tool to uh, recover some of that information from the metadata in each of these files. So it's very, very simple. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste and you see how it says DIR here. So that uh, actually means the target directory that we want. So if we go here to the terminal, we paste this in, but instead of DIR, we back that out and we come back to our target folder. Where are you, target folder? Command H. Pictures. And there it is. Main recovered. We're going to drag and drop it into there. And now you can see the entire command is exif tool space dash r. And then there's this file creation date thing. And then there's this lovely thing here that extracts the year, the month, the date uh, that it was shot, the hour, the minute, the second, and a sequence number, uh, just in case there are multiple recorded in the same second, or is it minute? I can't remember. Anyhow, when I hit return, it goes through the target directory, and it's going to uh, do its thing. So if we watch... It's chugging through the directory right now, and the bigger the directory, the longer this will take. So we'll um, speed this up in, uh, here it is. Our one directory was scanned, 634 files were updated. So now if we go back into the folder, and we can see now that instead of a meaningless file name, we now have file names that are based upon the date and the time that the f this each of these frames was shot. You can see these are CR2 files because they were created with the Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, if you had Nikon files, they'd be NEF. If you had Fuji, they'd be RAF and so on. Or JPG if you're shooting JPEG. So this is a very, very handy command. I will leave it in the comments in case you want to copy and paste it. Uh, if you want more information, check out Phil Harvey's uh, website. It's very easy to install this on the Mac. For example, there's this little package file. You just download and you install it. This little DMG file here, disk image file. And then it's in your terminal and you can do all of this at the drop of a hat. So, you know, when you're recovering data, it's it's quite happy uh, circumstance if you can get things back, like the file name or the date and the time that it was shot. It helps you identify what's important and what is just garbage. 